Okay, hello everyone. Um, first of all, I would like to um, say a huge, huge, huge sorry to Briar Lover 100. She had requested this video um, back in November sometime, I think, and um, I still haven't gotten it out, but I'm gonna get it out soon, yay! Okay, and if in case you're wondering, this is not my Briar collection. Well, it is. I mean, it's not all my buyers. All I have is classics and a couple of stable mates and some mini winnies. And yeah, it's pretty messed up right now because everything's tipped over. But mm -hmm. and yeah. Well, let's get to the point. This is a Briar, not Briar, um, how to draw horses tutorial slash tips and stuff like that. And first of all. I keep all my materials for drawing in this lovely pink case, and I don't really like pink, but I need to spice it up sometimes in my free time, but yeah. This is a drawing I drew, and of boots, and it's really detailed, like all those little lines. I got first place in that in an art fair. And then this is a horse that I drew. I'll get more into that later. Um, this is some nothing. I'll talked about later. Um, that's a drawing. That's a drawing I did in art class. That's a poster. That's the thing about briars. Okay. This is a fashion plate. Woo. Okay. When you're drawing, always have a test paper. So you can do like the sky or the colors of the horse which look better together. Something like that. Always do that. I have a sketch pad, so I just don't draw on regular computer paper and stuff like that, or notebook paper. Um, it was 13 bucks, but I got it for free for my birthday, which is kind of cool. But it has like a bunch of pieces of paper. Also, I use the last page for like color testing too. And yeah, so it's really cool. I color horses in pencil crayons, and some are crayon, I think. But yeah, okay. I have like a tons of how to draw horse books and I never use them. <laughs> I don't know why, but they just make me draw worse and I don't use them. So, some people like them, some people don't. I'm the people who don't like them. These I got some ideas out of them. A cartoon horsies. And I don't draw horses like this in case you're wondering. This is just a, like a... Ah, uh, I don't know. That's when I was 12. And this is when I was 12 too, another cartoon horse. He's like going to the finish line and then he's like woo and then that one's way far behind and this guy's like right there and it's kind of cool. Okay. Um, this is a foal I drew. He like has a perfect head but then when you put it to his body it like doesn't match up and that's one thing I do wrong either I make their heads so long or their body too thick or something see if you look back at this one which I got first place in as a matter of fact but his long nose or face is really long and his body is like thick and bulging out and he looks really super fat and yeah if you see anything else wrong with this please tell me because I need to fix that I have been fixing it later on but yeah, and then I do like some subtitles, kind of Road to Freedom. But yeah, that's when I was 12 too. This is one of my favorite ones. It's a little horse in the snow, and it's really favorite because um, this looks like my pony, Beauty. Yeah, she's really cool. And her face isn't too bad, but it is kind of bad. Like, it's not detailed, and, and so... Yeah, but other than that, she looks really cool, and you can see the snowflakes coming down. This I think I did with pastel. Well, the horse is a colored pencil, but anyways, yeah, that's really cool. This is a horse looking at the moon. His nose is really skinny, as you can tell. And he just, I don't know, all these lines don't look right with him. That's when I was 12. This horse was major failure, really messed up, and this legs and look at this leg I mean seriously that doesn't even look I mean gosh seriously that's mad 
See, I'm a harsh critic. <laughs> okay, this is the first time ever drawing a horse like this when I did it. And it looks really cool. I might say I would change its face, but I can't. But other than that, I think it looks really cool. It's an Appaloosa yearling, I guess. And I have, like, all the little details in his mane. And that's another thing. Don't just color your horse one color. Shade it or put details in it. That actually adds really a lot of characteristic into your drawings and um, yeah some horse people just color them in one color and yeah now this is a picture of spirit and he's like on a mountainous thing and it's really cool I was 12 he looks uneven like his like whoosh and then it's like yeah and yeah I don't know it's okay but no and then that's my awesome eagle right I'm a suck at drawing eagles <laughs> Fly away. Yeah. This is my first ever rolling horse. I think it's cool, but I wouldn't probably move this back. But other than that, the horse is pretty much in proportion with everything. This is a really bad picture to you. Like, just look at his legs. I mean, seriously, that's bad. I have no more explaining on that. <laughs> okay, sometimes I draw a little sub note here. Sometimes I draw briar. I look at molds, like briar molds like this, to get ideas, or look in pictures, but most of the time I just make it out, up, um, out of my head. All the ones you just seen were out of my head. But this one I was looking at Chili, the mold Chili and the Ashley figure, or junior writer person. I like change up their clothes a little. It's okay, but I'm not really good at drawing people. I was never good at drawing people. The horse looks okay. That's when I was 12 too. Um, this is Twilight, and then that's the mold of a mare or whatever. Face is too long, too skinny. The, yeah, that had its major failure. Otherwise, it would be really good. Yeah. <clears throat> I love the dog. I'm, I draw dogs, too. And I think the dog's really cool. So, the horse is, once again, not the greatest. I'm hard on my things. Okay, this one is a show jumping horse. I love it. Personally, I think the head can be a little better, but I don't really know much that could be changed about it. If you see anything that you don't like, tell me. And see, I have shading. Like, he's darker up there in the front, but then if you look, go back to the butt, he's lighter. I even have a little American flag and little cross hatches on his thing blanket saddle pad and shading and that's colored in and I have a bird up there which is not the greatest bird either but <laughs> yeah this is one also when I was told and that's just a little fun thing this is a cool horse I really like this one his head isn't the best I guess but he's not doesn't have a proportion head his ears are a little big but other than that, he looks really cool, and I love his tail, how it switches in, and like that. He's like a fantasy horse. But yeah, all these little details, all those little lines, all the little butterflies. Yeah, that's what you have to do to make your horses look realistic and really cool. I don't know, some flowery things. That's an Oreo milk. I love Oreos. This is a picture I entered in competition. I got first place on it. Beauty. Except it looks like a horse, not a pony. His head is actually good, but then, if, well, it's a little long. He looks like a Roman Noah's horse. And then his body is just, I don't know. But shading, yeah, once again, shading. Now, I'm starting to get more, um, more, um, what is it called? Better, I guess. Um, yeah. So, you can see, like, the muscles and stuff and he has his head is like in proportion with this and stuff a little birdie and yeah and then these horses look good too don't mind my sister she's yelling in the background and it's really annoying okay I'm just kidding yeah. <laughs> and so yeah this is my horsies I like these too they're really cool this is a Christmas horse I did he looks good swirly things 
Emily Beauty and Freddy. Those are my horses. But this one's really messed up. <laughs> okay, look. Look at that. How gorgeous is this? After all those practicing, I finally mastered this. It's so beautiful. Um, this is when I was 13. Well, I just turned 14 yesterday, but, well, on December 14th. But, yeah, you can see the shading, you can see the muscles, you can see his head is actually in proportion. You can tell she's a dapple, buskin, chestnut, black. Um, you can see the grass, and you can just imagine being there with that horse. Those horses running through the field. That's what you need to bring to your audience. You have to, like, yeah, I don't know how to explain this, but this is really... Really, really cool. I love her. This. And I love his tail. And I love the book skin. It's so cool. And so, yeah, this is what you want to try to get to. It's so cool. If you don't like it, please tell me. I'll just scan over it. Tell me if you don't see any flaws. If you see any flaws, tell me because I would like to know because I always like to pr improve on my stuff. Don't be afraid to improve. I'm going kind of fast. I need to get to my other drawings. This I love too, because this is beauty. She lo she trots like this and stuff, but I don't think she's a ha hackney pony or whatever. But yeah. But you can see this. Her legs are like exactly proportioned. Her face is a little short, but she's kind of tilting her face. I love the cloud. And you can tell she's dappled just from way over here. You can tell she's a dappled horse. But that one's really cool. I mean, look at this. Compared to like, well, that look at that compared to like this. See the difference? Like, really, it looks like a completely different person do it, but it looks really cool. Even those little dots in their eyes add a lot. This is the horse I did for Halloween this year. This is a horse I did for my Thunderbolt series. I actually did it in science class. Well, on a little tiny piece of paper, and I'm blowing up, draw it, do it bigger. And you can see all the little details and stuff. And this is just in pencil, and you can tell she's a lighter color than he is. And these are some eyes that I did, and I'm starting drawing on a new horse. And that's a really bad picture. Okay, now, getting to the fun part. Drawing a horse. I'll tell you how to draw a horse. Okay, what you need is a pencil. That is sharp, which this one is kind of dull. And an eraser. This one does not have an eraser, so I have an eraser. Pencil and eraser. Testing paper and whatever material you want to color with. Crayons, I wouldn't suggest to. They aren't the greatest at shading. Pencil colors work great. Markers, no. Um, pastels, yeah, those are good. Oil paints, you can use those. Um, acrylics, I guess. Yeah, pencil colors is mainly what I do for this. Okay, I'll be back to watch part two to see the drawing.